Uh, it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to so please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective with any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading can apply to your past, your present, or your future. As well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. I do hope everyone is doing well and feeling well. With that being said, guys, let's get started, okay? So the first message you have here is crazy karmic lover. Stay away from this psycho obsession. Bad romance. This person is an ex for a reason. Lames playing games, okay? Okay, guys, so you all have a crazy karmic lover who is a straight-up psycho that's ob um, obviously obsessed with you, okay? Y'all had a bad romance when you all were together. This is the very reason why this person is your ex, okay? You could have went through a lot of ups and downs and challenges with this person, okay? Um, this person is lame. They're playing games, but they're, they're still somehow obsessed with you in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion, guys, okay? So, um... <laughs> yeah, we have here bad romance, toxic lovers, okay? Um, there could have been... Well, we know this is a karmic lover. It was a karmic relationship. There could have been addictions, bad habits. Um, something could have been wicked, evil, or sinister about the relationship. Someone could have been codependent. There could have been a lot of arguing, fighting, um, cheaters, uh, violence, domestic abuse just a very toxic energy okay somebody could even have some type of mental illness of some kind spirit clarify stay away from this psycho stay away from this psycho so we have the masculine man here okay um, you might find this 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 masculine to be handsome or attractive or appealing to you in some type of way. This person could uh, be very tempting, okay? Um, but Spirit is telling you that you need to stay away from this psycho, okay? Spirit, clarify obsession. Obsession. So I seen the world card here. Okay, yeah, there it goes. It came back up again, okay? So we have the world here, okay? So there was a finalizing of you all's relationship, a completion, an end came um, to, uh, you know, to you, there was just a completion of a cycle in your relationship. There had to be an ending for you all to see a new beginning, okay? Um, out with the old, in with the new type of energy, but this person still has a very strong obsession for you, okay? I, I don't really feel like this is love. This is about control, manipulation, possession, and, and things like that, okay? This person could feel like if they can't have you, nobody else can, okay? Um, so this person could feel very motivated or determined or, or anxious um, to still be attached to you or in your life in some type of way. We have the moon here on bad romance. So this talks about a lot of sneaky, freaky, creepy things going on behind the scenes, behind closed doors, okay? I feel like there was a lot that was going on um, maybe behind your back. Um, um, things could have caused you to feel overwhelmed or saddened or there could have even been a lot of dilemmas. The moon talks about secret things, hidden things, what's done in the dark here, okay? This could have like a sinister undertone to it, okay? Um, because I find like with the moon, it's all kinds of hidden things. So there could have been some type of witchery or rituals or just secrets that went on in the past, okay, that caused you to have this bad romance. Spirit, clarify this person is an ex for a reason. 
Spirit is saying to keep your distance, okay? Choose your lovers wisely, okay? Choose your friends wisely. When show, someone show you who they really are, you need to believe them, okay? This person, you have already seen this person's true colors. They've already shown you who they really are. The Most High has exposed this person to you, which is why you all are no longer together. So Spirit is saying keep your distance. Stay away from the enemy. Lames playing games. This person likes to party, um, likes to kick it, likes to have fun. This person could have like addictions or addictive patterns of behavior. This person could drink excessively, could be into some type of drug use, okay? Um, gambling, um, something addictive. This person could even have sex addictions. So you clarify lanes playing games. And as I say that, the devil. This person has a strong demonic attachment. Spirits say evil is as evil does, okay? So this person could literally be into some of everything, okay? Or anything, rather, okay? Because the devil talks about toxicity, bad habits, um, demonic type of energy, evil, wicked, sinister type of energy here, okay? Addictions, addictive patterns of behavior. So this person could have addiction to sex, drugs, um, alcohol, lying, a multitude of different things here okay this person could also be into um witchcraft sorcery black magic voodoo type of practices or something doing something with the dark arts or something like that this person could have uh, cast some type of love spells or sex magic or something like that over you all uh, or over you or over you all's relationship either okay if this person is not really into like the dark arts or anything like that, it was just something very sinister or toxic about this person, okay? It's very clarify, crazy karmic lover. Crazy karmic lover. So this crazy karmic lover of yours that you have this bad romance with is a false person. This person is as fake as they come, okay? This is the type of person who will smile in your face while they're stabbing you in your back, okay? Um, you could be easily fooled by this person because this person may be very attractive. This person may be very seductive. This person um, could be well-groomed, could carry themselves very well, but there's something that is just fake, funny, and fraudulent about this person. This person is a liar, cheater, deceiver, manipulator, con artist, just period, okay? It's very clear if I stay away from this psycho. Stay away from this psycho, okay? So this person, I feel like this person is uh, 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 controlling, manipulative, possessive, okay? Um, dominant type of energy here okay um but with the lovers coming out here maybe you all had good sex okay but other than that the relationship was really toxic okay there's something that's making that's causing this most high to refer to this person as psycho okay this person could literally have a mental illness of some kind Spirit, clarify obsession. Clarify obsession. So this person, like, literally obsess, uh, uh, is very obsessive about you. They think about you all the time. They're, you're, they're, they're, they could be watching you, stalking you, uh, tapping your, 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 your devices, bugging your car, like, literally... Um, using some type of illegal harassment of some kind to keep tabs on you in some type of way, even though you all's relationship came to an end. Is there a clarified bad romance? Clarified bad romance. So you all wasn't married or anything, but you definitely dated, okay, whether this was long-term or short-term relationship, you all courted one another, you all dated one another, there was a lot of things that was secret, a lot of things that was hidden, a lot of things that was going on behind the scenes. So I clarify this person is an ex for a reason, keep your distance. This 
person caused you to be in despair. Okay, this person uh, could have caused you even to lose a job, but this caused this person may have caused you to lose money, lose a job, caused you to fall down on hard times. But this person really caused you a lot of despair. Okay, which is why spirit is saying keep your distance and stay away from the enemy. Okay, now I also want to say this too. Because it seems like that this reading could go either way. So whether you are feminine and you're dealing with a masculine like, masculine like this, or whether you are a masculine and you're dealing with a feminine like this, both sides of the spectrum could, uh, um, this reading could resonate with you, okay? You can identify with a lot of things that's in this reading. So it clarified lames playing games. Names playing games. So we have toll and labor here. It's like this person is hard at work doing something. Playing these little games with your feelings, with your emotions. Um, just being an annoyance to you in your life. A disturbance even, okay? Like... If this person finds out that you're dating someone else, like, this person is liable to have a bitch fit, okay? Like, this is the type of person, say y'all broke up, okay? And even though this person is still obsessing over you, could be watching you, stalking you, you don't know that they're around, you don't know that they're watching, okay? Um, but the moment that they see that you're talking to someone, you're going out, you're having a good time or something like that, this person will pop up. This person will get to calling out the blue. This person, uh, like, blowing you up, sending you text messages back to back to back to back to back, okay? Um, or this person could already be doing those things here, okay? But with toll and labor here, it's like this person is, like, working hard, to play these little games in your life, these little sinister, evil little games in your life just to cause you some type of inconvenience of some kind. You may have had to go to court and get some type of restraining order. You see both this man and this woman sitting before this judge here. You may have had to file a restraining order against this person with judication then at the bottom of the deck. It's very clarified, crazy karmic lover. Crazy karmic lover. So we have the lover here, okay? So clearly we know that this person was a lover of yours, okay? But this person was a false person. There was something very toxic about this person. And this could be because this person is codependent, because they have addictions or bad habits, or a multitude of things combined together. Stay away from this psycho. This person is just a pleasure seeker. They do things for their own amusement, their own enjoyment, their own liking, their own ill will. This person would be faithful to you if you took them back. Okay? They just want to know that they have you and got you wrapped around their finger and nobody else could, you know what I'm saying? Have you type of thing. This person is a narcissist. <clears throat> So clarify obsession. Clarify obsession. Like this person do things to constantly, like if you constantly run into this person, y'all keep having these random reunions where y'all run into each other occasionally. And it's like, oh, they just happen to run into you. Y'all just happen to be in it. It's no coincidence. This person was following you, watching you. This person did this on purpose here, okay? Um... Um, this person may even pop up at your house, pop up at your job, happen to run into you out in public. Um, you could be at the grocery store, the gas station, like wherever, and you keep running into this person. And it's because this person is obsessed with you. They're watching you. They're stalking you. So we're clarify that romance. Clarify bad romance. This person caused you misfortune here because of the wicked things that they were doing behind your back. They caused you some type of misfortune. They caused you to lose a lot, whether it was time, energy, money, um, a home, um, but something. They caused you some type of misfortune. You went through, and that sits on bad romance, okay? 
There's something that this person did with, especially with them coming out as psycho and obsessive. This person could have been abusive. This person could have been destructive. This person could have been very careless, reckless. Like, you know, they could just be, you know, when they get mad, they're enraged and um, really cause a lot of problems. It's very clarified. This person is an ex for a reason. This person is an ex for a reason. So we have falseness here. I see falseness as well as faux. This person is an ex because they caused you a lot of despair. This person is an ex because they're faithful and fraudulent and untrue. This person is an ex because they're a foe, which means they're an enemy. They're an op. They're your opponent. They were never for you. They were working against you the entire time. I'm telling you, this person is a narcissist. It's very clear if I, um, Lane's playing games. This person could have even been paid or paid or vetted to, to like come in your life or this person is a straight up op. The spirit is referring to them as the enemy yet again. This person has caused you a lot of despair. You thought this person was like a lover and a friend, but I mean, you you found out later that that was so far from the truth. Yeah, this person caused you sorrow, caused you a lot of despair. Crazy karmic lover spirit. Yeah. I feel like you you deal with regret like every day that you even dealt with this person. This person caused you that much of a headache that much of a problem i do see family home and commitment here so for some of you you have a child with this person okay this is another reason why this person has um this obsession over you why they're using some type of contact uh, uh control tactics over you okay yeah, in the past, this this bad romance caused you lack, it caused you suffering, it caused you misfortune, okay? Yeah. This person seriously hurt you. It's very clarify your ex. This person is an ex for a reason. We have the masculine here. Lames playing games. Yeah, they're guilty. They're trying to sabotage you in some way shape form or fashion i see i told you i seen i felt like they were spying on you they're spying on you they're watching you they're inspecting you lane's playing games spirit lane's playing games this person could come in and try to offer you something uh, try to temporarily be nice to you in some type of way. It's just a ploy. It's just a plot. This person has not changed their wicked ways, okay? Yeah, because this person is full of deception and temptation. Because they're putting on a facade. They're wearing, they're still wearing this mask. They're still playing and pretending. They, not, they won't be honest and real with you. Crazy karmic lover spirit. This relationship, this crazy karmic lover of yours caused you emotional loss, okay? And regret, okay? To clarify, stay away from this cycle. We have mental conflict here. This person do have some type of mental disability here. There's something mentally that's messed up in this person's mind, okay? This person could be bipolar. They could be schizophrenic. They could be a multitude of different things here. But this person, like, literally have some type of psychological problem, some type of mental illness, okay? You could have been even trapped in fear at one point in time because of this person's obsession, because of this person's control tactics. 
three cards are bad romance. Yeah, this bad romance card you nothing but heartache and loss. Okay? This person that's an ex for a reason, they just want to cause disruption to your life or in your life. Yeah. They want to cause these obstacles and challenges in your life because they have not changed their wicked ways. Okay? You could be emotionally withdrawn right now. You could be to yourself, by yourself, in hermit mode. You could not be dating anyone right now because of what you have had to go through with the, with this person that you were with before. This crazy karmic lover of yours. Yeah. So y'all have been in separation here, okay? Sadness. This person could say that they're missing you. Um, they're thinking about you. They're yearning for you, okay? Um, you're you're in sadness right now, okay? Um, because this person has hurt you a lot. You're unsure about the future. This is the reason why you've had you're in such turmoil and emotional loss here, okay? So we have the Phoenix energy here to say this sit here on stay away from this psycho, okay? I feel like this person wants to come back around. They want to start a new phase with you, rekindle um, you all's relationship, renew it, trans you know, this also talks about transformation, growth, changed mind. But this this person has not changed, I'm telling you. Okay. Yeah. This person has serious addictions here. Codependent, obsession, possession. Didn't I tell you they were up? We know that they're obsessive, but I told you they were possessive too. Controlling, has a block, a restraint. This person is dangerous. Okay? And all this person do is come in and try to seduce you in some type of way. You could be very tempted sexually by this person, but it's not worth it. Okay? Clarify bad romance. So we have the acts here, okay? Breakup, separation, stop the pattern, um, silent treatment, abandonment here. You have to get out of this situation. <clears throat> this person may even come back around and act like they want to propose to you, get engaged, they want to marry you, okay? It's all a ploy. It's all a ploy just for you to let your guards down, let them back in just so they can stab you in the back yet again. This talks about heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack, okay? If you get back with this person, this person is going to harm you severely with a weapon. Seriously. Yeah, lanes playing games. We have um, lightning here. This talks about sudden changes, shocking news, surprise, epiphanies, upheavals, transformation. This would be like seeing the tower card in a traditional tower deck. You get back with this person, there's going to be a major tower in your life. Complete destruction. This could be problems of any kind. Murder, death, harm, destruction, illness, injuries, lies, deceptions, disruptions, chaos. Okay? You need to stray away from this situation as much as possible. We got a um, hand of cards at the bottom of the deck, which talks about taking chances, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand, or even gambling, okay? So this person is not even being on the up and up with you, okay? Don't think that this person has changed, okay? Narcissists can come off as real sweet and kind and loving at first, okay? So we have healing family issues here, okay? So you could be trying, you've been trying to heal, okay? But this person needs to let go of control issues, okay? This person wants to control you so no one else can have you. This person may want to come through and act like they want to have some type of heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you i don't feel like it's safe for you to do so because as soon as you tell this person no or you say something that this person don't want to hear it's going to set them off okay they are dealing with mental instability this person this is like fatal attraction type of energy here okay this person will kill you to prevent anybody else from having you and it's a shame because this person 
even if you were stupid enough to get back with this person, this person don't love you enough to treat you right and do right by you because they love you that much. But this person loves you enough to kill you to keep anyone else from having you. That's just how screwed up this person is. Okay, guys, so um, let's get some tarot. We're going to wrap up this reading. And like I said, guys, this energy can go either way. You could be a feminine who is dealing with this, or you can be a masculine, okay? So, Eight of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. This talks about swift, fast communication, messages, news, information. This person could be messaging you, okay? Calling you back to back to back to back. Uh, texting you, emailing you, okay, uh, communicating with you in some type of way, like back to back to back, okay, because this is the eight of wands, this could have, you could have got a multi, eight different messages, a multitude of different messages from this person coming in very swiftly, okay, so we're going to clarify, crazy karmic lover, first card, Ten of Swords. This person has stabbed you in the back, has betrayed you, has ultimately betrayed you. Okay? This person has sabotaged you. I feel like this person has hurt you physically, mentally, emotionally. Okay? This person has lied to you, cheated on you, possibly even abused you. Okay? But this is just ultimate betrayal here. So we're going to I stay away from the psycho. Stay away from the psycho, okay? So we have the two of coins here. This person has always juggled you with other persons. This person also has a lack of finances, money, and resources. Another reason why they're so codependent here, okay? Yeah, this person is obsessed with the... With, this is a lover's card here. So this person... I, <sighs> Is beyond obsessed with you, okay? But do you see how this person is sitting here with multiple women here? But this person is like crazy about you. And it's, it's a trip because this person is so crazy about you, they would seriously hurt you. But they're not crazy enough about you to treat you right and to love you. Like, it's a, it's a trip. Yeah. Spirit say you know the truth. You know the clarity. Spirit say... Spirit has already granted you the victory to get away to escape this relationship. If you go back to this person, you will not escape again. You will not. Yeah. This person is an ex for a reason because there's a lot of things that's secret about this person. There's a lot of things that's hidden about this person. This person is involved in criminal activity as well. This person is, is, is with some low down and dirty shit, okay? Sneaky, freaky, creepy shit. This person did a lot of things behind the scenes, behind closed doors, behind your back. Spirit is saying that this person, this person wants to come in and I feel like make some type of proposal, uh, make, some, make, make some type of offer, give you some type of offer or something like they want a partnership or a relationship with you. But it's bullshit. This person is trying to get you to let your guards down. That's just the narcissist in them. You know, it's like as long as you ignore a narcissist, they will chase you and act like they care. As soon as you pay a narcissist attention, act like you love them, act like you care about them, calling them all the time, hitting them up all the time, and all, that's all of a sudden when they ghost you. That's all of a sudden when they start mistreating you. That's all of a sudden when they start ignoring you. Okay? It's just the way it is with a narcissist. Yeah. This person actually, like they want a relationship with you, but they've done nothing but keep you in third-party situations time and time again. It's very crazy karmic lover. This person has caused you nothing but heartache and heartbreak, okay? There's bad romance because there was a lot of jealousy, envy, strife, competition because all this other this person's lovers and, and different things. Stay away from this psycho. 
This person is very childish. They're very foolish. They carelessly and recklessly are living. They carelessly and recklessly and blindly take leaps of faith and do stupid things. Obsession. Yeah, this person is a liar, cheater, deceiver, manipulator, con artist, okay? This person is a two-faced, two-timing, backstabbing bastard, period. Okay? And it's going to forever be that way. I don't even feel like this person... You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even feel like this is this person is not even the energy like, oh, I made mistakes when I was young. I've strived to be a better person. I've changed. Give me another chance and you can actually see that this this person's work and this person's effort and, and them change because anybody can change. No, this person. This person like literally has some screws loose. They don't plan to change. They don't want to change. This type of person, this level of narcissism, they don't even feel like they have a problem. They don't feel like they are the problem. Any argument that they all, you all have ever had, you are the problem. So we're clarifying. Um, yeah. This person is an ex for a reason. All y'all did was fucking fight. Y'all had a lot of arguments, fights, disagreements, misunderstandings. There was just a lot of conflict, a lot of secrets in you all's relationship. Yeah. And at some point in time, this person left you hanging before. They just left you hanging for something or someone else. Okay? They left you hanging. You've moved on to calmer waters, okay? To a better place in, in, in your life here, okay? This person left you in sadness and lost. This person abandoned you, left you out in the cold, left you with a lack of finances, money, resources, and support. That's why I'm telling you, this person cost you a major misfortune. When you dealt with them. And I feel like you have been in this energy here ever since. In hermit mode. To yourself, by yourself, all alone. Single. Maybe celibate. Or whatever. While they've been sucking and fucking and doing whatever it is that they do. But they're still obsessing over you. But they still are laying, want to play games in your life with your heart. They're still karmic. They're still psycho. They still have mental issues. This person is an ex for a reason. If you had a bad romance before, you would have a worse romance if you got back with it with this person. Okay? So that's what's going on here, guys. I do thank you all for listening and for watching. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. For those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tip.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shinebrightlikeadiamond36 with the underscore between each word. And for any persons who is interested in donating to the channel, it is greatly appreciated. I do thank you in advance. You can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tipdiamond36, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash add36diamond. As always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies, honey. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places, and there is evil that is lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings, watch the company you keep, watch surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God.